Well, there's the testicle itself, which is should be like a firm but not hard, egg-sized almost thing. The epididymis, where the sperms mature and develop the ability to fertilize the egg, feels more like an earthworm attached to the back. And there can be little tiny cysts and nodules that come off of that and lumps and bumps. And so it's essential that when you do a testicular self-exam that you get used to understanding what you're like. It's like women with breast exams. You learn your lumps and bumps. Down there, the guy needs to know what's normal so that if there is a change, they can say, aha, this lump wasn't there last month. Uh, they should be doing an exam ideally once a month in the shower when they're soapy and wet, and that will tell them what their normal baseline is. But our biggest problem in urology is that most men are diagnosed with testicular cancers late. They don't find it early when it's a little lump or bump. They wait until it's large or in the cases of some celebrities when it's already metastatic and advanced and they're showing signs of advanced disease.